praise god praise master jesus the lord is good all the time and all the time god is good we thank god for making it possible for us to see another new month happy new month to every one of you god has done it again we have seen the third month of the year 2022 it can only be god for that let's just be in the mood of worship briefly as we worship god for making it possible for us to see this new month, Lord, we worship you, we give you glory, we give you honor, we give you adoration. Thank you, Lord, because there is no one like you. Thank you, ancient of days, the I am that I am. Thank you for your mercies, Lord, even as we're about to hear your word, we pray that you speak to us by yourself in the mighty name of Jesus. Write your word on the first table of our hearts and help us to ponder on it day and night. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. My brothers and sisters, welcome once more to another beautiful month. And today I am going to be talking on a topic take courage. Take courage. Now, as human beings, as brothers, as sisters in life, there are some times where we need somebody to encourage us. There are some times when we want to hear that word, don't worry, you're strong, you'll get through this. There are a lot of times where we want people to come and pat us on the back and say, oh, take heart, don't worry, you have to be courageous. It's one of those things. Today, the Lord is telling us by himself to take courage. And when he's telling us to be courageous, that is, we should, we should have confidence in him. Because... We cannot serve this God and still be having double mind when it comes to the things that concerns God. We cannot be serving God and still will be, will be worrying when we are in the midst of trouble. We'll be worried when we are having temptations. We'll be worried when things are not going the way it's supposed to be. The Lord is telling us today to take courage. Whatever it is that you're passing through in life, face it fair and square. With the thought that you have a God with whom there are no impossibilities. With the thought that you have a God whom if you go on your knees and call upon, he will always answer. What does it mean to face, take courage? Be bold. Be confident, not in man, but in God. Let's open our Bibles to Joshua chapter 1. Joshua chapter 1. My Bible now. Okay. Joshua chapter 1. Hallelujah. Hmm. From verse 1. He said, Now it came to pass after the death of Moses that the servant of Jehovah, that Jehovah spake unto Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' minister, saying, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now therefore arise, go over this Jordan, thou and all the people, unto the land which I do give to them, even to the children of Israel. Every place that the sole of your foot shall tread, to you have I given it. As I spake unto Moses from the wilderness and this Lebanon, even unto the great river, the river Euphrates, all the land of the Hittites, and unto the great sea toward the going down of the sun shall be your border. There shall not be, there shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with thee. I will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. Be strong and be of good courage. For thou shalt cause these people to inherit the land which I swear unto their fathers to give them. Only be strong and very courageous to observe to do 
according to all the law which Moses, my servant, commanded thee. Turn not from it to the right hand or to the left, that thou mayest have good success. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If we go over to, to, to the same um, um, verse 9 of the same chapter, you will see, he said, Have I not commanded thee, be strong and of good courage. Be not affrighted, neither be thou dismayed. For Jehovah thy God is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. Now, it is not a coincidence that in three verses, the Lord told Joshua to be strong and to be courageous. Because even after taking over, after Moses' death and he took over the position of being the, the person taking the children of Israel to the promised land, there were a lot of trials and, and temptations that would come his path. He saw what Moses went through. But the Lord came back reassuring him to be courageous, to take courage, to be strong, not to be scared, because he is with him. The same way the Lord is encouraging us again today in this new month, no matter what it is that we're passing through, we should be strong and take courage. Having in our minds that we serve a God who has never failed, who will never fail. God is the God above all gods. He's the only God that you can call in the time of trouble with sincerity. He will answer you. Never a time has God disappointed his children. Take courage. Why would you want to allow that situation that you're passing through weigh you down? Take courage. Why would you want to allow that disappointment you got from your boss, you got from that person? Why would you want to allow it take you down? This is a new month. Take courage. Take courage. Because you must know that our God is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. So when you seek him faithfully, when you follow all of his commandments, just as we have read when he commanded Joshua, why do you think he will let you down? He will not let you down. He's going to be by your side when you take every move. There are a lot of reasons why we need to take courage in this new month and for the rest of the year. Why? Because... First of all, God is with us. He has promised us that he is with us. Just as he told Joshua in Joshua chapter 1 verse 9. That he, Joshua should not be afraid. He's telling you and I not to be afraid that he's going to be with us. Why can't you summon courage and face life? Why can't you summon courage and face that challenge? Knowing that you have somebody that will never let you down. Why do you want to be scared? We must take courage because God has plans for us. Just as the Bible said that the plan that the Lord has towards us, they are plans of good and not of evil to give us an expected end. Hallelujah. God has plans for us and every plan that the Lord has for us, they are good plans. The Lord will never wish his children evil. That is the reason why in this new month, you must be courageous. You must face whatever it is that you're passing through fair and square. You must go to God in prayer. Because every plan that the Lord has for you and for me, the Lord will fulfill it. That's the reason why we sing, he has promised he will never fail. I will follow, I will follow him. He has promised he will never fail. His faithfulness is forevermore. His faithfulness is forevermore. His faithfulness, they are forevermore. 
He has promised that he will never fail. What is your What is your own job? Is to follow him. And when you follow him, you're courageous because you can only follow somebody that you have confidence on. You can only follow somebody that you're courageous to know that this person, anything that happens, no, I'm not afraid. Another reason why we must be courageous is because Jesus has overcome the world. Jesus died on the cross of Calvary. He paid the price for you and for me. He has paid your debt. He has paid my debt. Why would I be worried? Why would I be scared? Though he tarry, yet I will still trust in God. God has paid the price for every one of us. All we need to do is to be courageous. He has paid it all. He has overcome the world. He has overcome that, that um, disappointment. He has overcame that delay. He has overcame that sickness. He has overcame that trial. He has overcame that temptation. Just be courageous. Face life fair and square. God has a date where every suffering of an individual must Come to an end. And when he says enough is enough, that is it. No other person can open a book that the Lord has closed. No other person. If he decides to close that door of delay today, disturbing you, it is gone and it is gone forever. Jesus has overcome all of these things, all of our problems. So we must be courageous. Another reason why we must be courageous is because Nothing can separate us from the love of God. God loves us dearly. He loves you and I dearly. He already established this relationship with you and I from the start by making us, by creating us from his own image. Nothing can separate you and I from the love of God. So we must be courageous. And know that we have somebody that loves us so dearly. Why will he want to disappoint me? Why would he want to let me down? We must be courageous. The Lord is our strength. Is our shield. Is our help. In times of trouble, we need to understand these keys and be courageous and face life. Because in Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10, he says, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Hallelujah. God is reassuring us over and over and over again to have courage. To have courage in him. To have faith in him. To be strong. Not to be afraid of whatever life may throw at us. Let this thought rest upon our minds. Let his thoughts remain with us. That with God, we have everything. We don't need to be afraid. That is why that songwriter sang. If all I have is Jesus, 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 that's more than enough. If all I have is Jesus, 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 that's more than enough. If all we have is Jesus, don't you think we have everything? We have everything. Serve him. Obey him. Follow his commandments. Trust in him. Then leave every other thing to him.
Leave your problems to him. Leave your trials to him. Face life fair and square. Move, move, move. No matter how much every trial tries to bring you down, stand up tall knowing that God will never leave you nor forsake you. Take courage, my brothers and sisters, today. In this new month, we have been invited to take courage, to face life, but never lose focus on God. While you're facing that challenge, while you're standing tall, while you're having courage, believe that God will never leave you nor forsake you. Focus on him and him alone and you will see that everything will turn around for your good in the mighty name of Jesus. Take courage, my brothers and sisters, and you will see that the God whom we are calling day and night will never ever leave us alone. Let's just begin to worship God and let's thank him for this wonderful word that we've heard this moment. Lord, we give you glory. Lord, we give you honor. We give you adoration for your word that we have heard. Lord, help us to take courage in you. Help us to be courageous. Help us to have faith in you. Help us to be strong in the name of Jesus. Help us not to allow situations that life will throw at us weigh us down. In the mighty name of Jesus. And let your hand, O God of strength, continually rest upon us. Be with us in every step that we we'll take in this new month of March. Make this month of March the month that we that that we, our mouth will be filled with testimony. Maybe one of the best months that we'll have in this year, 2022. In the mighty name of Jesus, let your presence continually dwell with us. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, omnipotent God. Thank you, the I am that I am. We cover our lives for the blood of Jesus. We cover this month for the blood of Jesus. Glory and honor be to your holy name. For in Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. Amen. Thank you, everyone, for being with me. Thank you for listening. May the Lord God has brought every one of us together in love. Continue to keep us safe and protect us in the name of jesus thank you everyone bye